The reason I bought one was because uh, it's about 150 bucks a week to rent one, and uh, this was about $300. This is a Prime Weld brand, and it's a cut 50 DP. It's supposed to be rated for 3 8 or half inch or something along those lines. Mostly what I'm going to cut is quarter inch, so this is a little in, in excess of that. I ordered it on Amazon, and I went to the, uh, uh, I tried extra hard to try to find the uh, Prime Weld consumables, and they actually stuck the consumables inside the shipping box. So this is uh, shipped from, not the manufacturer, but the, the reseller here in the U.S., Prime Weld. A few other nice things that uh, that they did was one of the things they did was they uh, they installed this nice 30 amp plug on the on the end of the cord. So uh, it is a nice twist lock plug, but uh, all my stuff is uh, 20 amp. And my breakers 20 amp, and uh, all my other cables use this plug. So I already swapped that out. From down here, the air inlet for the machine to uh, up here in the dryer slash pressure regulator there. And the other thing they did that was nice was put a quick connect on this side. So all you have to do is jack your airline in instead of hunting down one of these fittings and putting it in yourself. So I would assume that they did this all in their shop there at, uh, at Prime Weld. They unboxed it and put all this stuff on it. So that was nice of them. I have no affiliation with these guys by the way. Uh, just read the reviews and it said they were uh, good people to deal with. So it also came with a torch with a little protection on it and a stuff already fit on there and ground cable. So this particular unit has is a uh, pilot arc unit so that you don't have to actually scratch your tool against the material to start the arc. It's designed to have a high voltage pilot arc to get all that started for you. Try to hook up the torch here. So uh, I'll go ahead and hook up all this stuff and get my airline going and start the video again in a second. Okay, so the manual, as in many other items that are uh, written by somebody that English is not their native language, is a little difficult to read sometimes. But uh, it does have a picture of how the head goes together and what the part number is. Uh, a rough diagram of how things go and then uh, a little troubleshooting page tells you to keep uh, the dirt dirt off of everything because that will uh, reduce the life of your consumables and don't touch sparky stuff duty cycle 60% Three SCFM it doesn't really give uh, the maximum thickness. So the other thing uh, is, uh, please note that the the plug that I put on there is a is a two twenty volt plug. It's not uh, it's not one ten. The other thing is is it did come with some consumables. Aside from what's on the torch, it came with one more cone and uh, a couple, couple of tips in there. Well, it works. Here's my uh, piece of practice material. Actually, you can see uh, previously, I had cut something out with a torch following a, uh, a chalk line. And then I came back and uh, just freehanded this out with, uh, with the plasma cutter. I used uh, an acetylene torch earlier. And uh, while I am certainly no expert with a acetylene torch, I have 
I had used one before. And uh, this is what my cut looked like from the acetylene torch. There's a lot of very small uh, jagged edges. And you see here, it is with the plasma torch. Actually, uh, it's a nice, uh, more regular edge. I'm not going to say smooth. And then uh, this area right here actually is where uh, some slag ended up on the tip. And I felt the torch behaving differently. I didn't understand what it was. But uh, once I uh, knocked the slag off the tip, then uh, it continued to cut the, uh, the second line and uh, it came out better. And it cuts, uh, when I used the torch, probably the way I held it, it cut at a little bit of an angle. So I'm sure that'll be something that uh, takes practice. But it also cuts a lot faster than uh, an acetylene torch, that's for sure. I don't have a real big tip on my torch, but uh, it's much easier to control and easier to follow the arc, for me at least, than it is to follow with a acetylene torch trying to figure out uh, if you're going too fast or not. But it uh, seems to work pretty good. One thing uh, is that uh, the book, it lists uh, one amperage for all plate thicknesses, 50 amps. So uh, I'm not real, I just cranked the amp dial all the way up. You see it's reading 51 on there now and let it rip. So I don't know if there's much of a science to that. Uh, I suppose that's something I'll figure out later. Anyway, so, uh, no complaints from me so far, it all looks good. You can see the kind of edge that, that got. It is 